just had lunch at my favorite uh, pita hut place and just before that i picked up my laundry love this you know fold what it's called wash and fold service i dropped this off yesterday they charged me 16 bucks canadian and now it's washed and, and folded uh, because i'm getting ready to leave and i picked up uh, picked up this at my truck so those are my envelopes for three years my expenses and my fuel receipts are in there and i was missing one and so i think i found it it was inside the car here i think it was this one that was missing which was april 17 no it cannot be that i think it was one for 2020 and that's the thing that the most important thing i gotta do now is this and it's not it's not a it's not a tax audit it's a fuel tax audit you know it's not regular taxes it's the taxes that uh, i gotta do uh, i gotta do reporting right every every quarter and also that office is uh, aligned with what's known as irp international registration plan because each each year i have to renew my license plate which is kind of like a special plate because it allows me to go into pretty much any state uh, in the u.s except those northern territories where you need special licensing but anywhere in u.s and canada my plate works and of course that costs money so it's it's much more expensive than a regular plate if i was just you know trucking inside ontario but you know if you just get a regular plate that would be so cool you know like maybe when all my equipment is paid off and i want to take it easy that's what i can do i can just move stuff inside ontario without going across the border and three immediate advantages of doing that are one insurance will be much cheaper because us the us market ad adds a lot of you know risk to the insurance company if i just stay in ontario it's way cheaper you save a bunch of money on insurance second your plate is way cheaper because now you don't need the registration uh, like irp you, you only need local plate just regular truck plate and three if you're only in ontario there's no ifta reporting you know that saves so much time you don't have to report your fuel tax um to this office ministry of finance they have a special office in osho ontario uh, but you need to know people right you need to know like i don't have enough loads so occasionally i do something inside ontario but honestly it's maybe like one load out of 20 or 30 or something most loads my specialty is heavy stuff going across the border and speaking about heavy stuff so the what happened yesterday I uh, <clears throat> no the day before yesterday I called my Fontaine dealer the guy who helped me import that flip axle from uh, New Jersey and I said uh, when can I stop by I need the plate of course and I need the inspection but I said I see there's a couple of things uh, wrong with the axle I see one lug nut was missing I, I see there's uh, uh, no light on the plate where the license plate supposed to go like there's no even no cable so they have to hook up a cable and put a light in and and i said i want to check the brakes you know make sure everything works right well that's part of the inspection and i said it's not going to be like a quick and easy procedure and, then, and the guy says well maybe then bring it wednesday on the next day because we were talking tuesday and uh he says we just you know drop it off and that was quite an adventure we're backing into the place it's so tight you have to back from the blind side it's crazy but i i did it without killing anybody and and then we decided i should leave that flip axle over there except that if you remember at the port we turned it right before 
it was parked kind of like alongside the trailer and now at the port because i needed the space on the deck we turned it right so the wheels were on the side of the trailer and now this guy shows up with a forklift and his forks are just you know i don't know five feet long <laughs> and he's scratching his head and i'm scratching my head together with him because i said how are you gonna lift it you know I said for you to lift it the axle has to be like this you know so that he can put his forks in the middle but eventually we figured it out I said okay let's just you know push the one of the wheels against your mast and we'll hook up a chain like a cross and then another chain to lift it and one chain to stabilize it and I said as long as you don't damage the tires I'm okay because I decided to also upgrade the wheels I told them get me some cheap uh, what they call alu track alu something you know not alcoa but they're uh, made in in canada so they're much cheaper but they're aluminum you know so they don't rust and they're much lighter than steel i just hate steel rims like they don't work here in canada you know because so there's so much you know garbage on the road you know on the roads in winter all this salt and so i said yeah even if you damage the steel rims i said fine and so he lifted it and he pushed one of the wheels against the mast and he was able to just lift it and put it down and so I left it there so they will take care of uh, of the inspection of the plating and they will fix these couple of small things and I said this is not uh, uh, this is not a rush because I don't need this axle for the next two or three trips for sure and then I have to pay him uh, 500 bucks Canadian for the service for the export import you know service and then i might need to pay the sales tax hst 13 percent uh, but he'll tell me when when he's gonna register it with the ministry of transportation they'll tell me if i need to pay the hst i'm pretty sure i will i will have to but it's used i don't do you have to pay it on used ones probably yeah but i get it back eventually anyway so it's it's all reimbursed so that was the most important thing yesterday and then I booked an alignment appointment and everybody's super busy so I managed to do it for Friday tomorrow so Friday nine o'clock I was supposed to go to uh, uh, Chiefs Collision and I booked it and then the guy calls me back and he says oh sorry uh, something came up I, I won't be able to help you but he says there's a uh, call this guy and he gives me a name of another company and he also in kitchen of waterloo area here in, in ontario and he says he should be able to help you and i so i called that guy so we booked appointment for nine o'clock tomorrow and whenever i lift the flip axle i see that the trailer goes straight i don't i don't see any issues it's just when the flip axle is down uh, especially when both of them are down i see that there's a there's an issue i don't know and a buddy of mine i i, I told this to a buddy of mine and he was joking he says uh now you're gonna hook up your booster and he says now you're gonna make it straight when it's a quad or a trident but he says when you're gonna hook up your booster you will see that it's dog tracking again <laughs> i said well i hope not <laughs> because of course there's a free play there you know between uh, because the flip axle that's the issue with the flip axle it's kind of like loose connection it's just pins at the top two pins at the bottom right and there's some free play in there of course that's why it's designed like that so you can put shims in and change the angle you know depending on your load but it's really it would have been much much easier if if my trailer was just a try them you know but it does give you uh, you know the flexibility of running as two plus two and now i'll be able to run as three plus two and so now as i mentioned my most important thing i gotta do because i have my deadline is uh, uh april 5th uh, but i still have lots of time uh, i have to do this fuel tax uh, audit it's called desk audit not a field audit but desk audit field audit is when the is is when the uh, uh, accountants or whatever the sh auditors show up at your doorstep and and they review you know in the field but desk audit it's kind of like a dot audit you know you go through after getting your mc and D us dot number like first six months there's always an audit but it's just paperwork they sell they tell you what you need to supply and you send them paperwork in the mail or by email 
and that's what I have uh, to do so they sent me a letter saying what I have to supply and I supply them the paperwork the numbers and I, I was okay with these receipts I know I have pretty much all fuel receipts but the problem is I think I mentioned before is the uh, the mileage you know because I was writing down my odometer readings each time I cross a state line or province line but what I didn't do is I did not write down the date you know like when did I cross let's say from PA into Ontario and so now part of that audit they're asking me tell us your beginning and ending odometer let's say quarter one of 2018 and I have no way of doing that because you know I don't even have that book that notebook that I had at 2018 when I was writing down my mileage you know I have all the assessments uh, but you, you don't put your starting and ending od odometer on those you just put your you just put your total mileage yeah, like, the lady was getting very close to me she was backing like I hate lazy people you know they you see like I park like this right I always back in but these guys they always come in and they face that way and then when they try to leave they always back right into me so I don't know I don't want to park in there because I don't I want to be far away from everybody I think what I'm gonna do next time because there's a parking spot in there I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back in there because that that way is much easier because everybody's backs this way and then they go out through here and so yeah and so my issue was how to get my mileage you know and I was thinking about this and I I contacted uh, my ELD service provider keep tracking and I asked him if I can pay them retroactively for the past three years and upgrade my subscription to premium and premium includes IFTA fuel tax reporting and at first they were not sure they can do that and I said I'm positive your ELD captures my odometer readings it's just that they're locked since I only have a basic package and eventually the guy get, got back to me my account manager and he says oh yeah I checked with technical support and they say if you upgrade right now and pay us 200 extra dollars US uh, I think it's like 420 bucks US a year if you want uh, fuel to, for the premium package with the IFTA and if you just want basic without IFTA without fuel tax uh, reporting then it's like 260 or 280 bucks so it's almost double the price but he says the good news is that you don't have to pay us for three years as soon as you upgrade your package to premium right now you will have access to all your records and so while they were doing that sending like some sending sending some some letters back and forth I have to sign this sign that I went to the website of keep tracking I logged in because of course I have the active you know basic subscription and I see a button over there it says activate uh, premium trial okay so I clicked on that one and now it says yeah now you have premium package for 30 days for free and I was just able to see I clicked on IFTA in the menu and I see all my readings I see my odometer like I was just anxious can I go as far back as 2018 which is the start of my audit and I clicked on like quarter one quarter two and beautiful I can see my odometer not just for quarters but for each day or and I can click on states and it gives me a breakdown of all kilometers or miles I did in that quarter uh, for each state it's like amazing you know so now that I have this premium package I don't have to do any I'm gonna throw out all my notebooks I'll of course I'll keep my fuel receipts but I don't have to write down my my mileage anymore because it's all captured and also another thing I uh, I'll have to do now is when I'm buying fuel I can just enter the amount I, I bought you know you know gallons or liters into the app into the keep tracking app and this way uh, it'll it'll you know keep track of all my fuel purchases you know 
very useful, very useful. Yeah, expensive, but I need this. I need this for, for audit purposes and for... Uh, so now it'll be much easier to do not just this audit, but also, you know, all this IFTA returns I have to file, like declarations I have to file each quarter, right? So now I just go to the website, look at all my mileage. I know it should be like 100% correct. There's no mistakes anymore. Um, because it's all captured by the computer, right? Because the ELD is hooked, is hooked up to the port on my, uh, on my, it's getting hot in here. Uh, it's hooked up, uh, hooked up to my uh, PCM on the truck. So that's the good news about the audit very excited so tomorrow Friday yeah the big job is alignment and then I contacted uh, OK tire uh, because I want to make sure that I, I hear that the tone of my exhaust changed slightly and I know it was breaking in there's some you know sometimes uh, after you install long tube headers you, you hear you smell this uh, burning like something burning it's because you know it's breaking in there's some paint somewhere or some grease and I just want to make sure that everything is properly connected so I called them I said guys can you I'll pay you can you please just you know check all the connections because I've been driving for the past two three days I just want to make sure that I don't have any issues in the future so if the same guy who installed it just you know just he knows everything right where everything is just go over each bolt all bolts and nuts like and uh, headers at the engine and then uh, pipes underneath that he installed and make sure nothing is loose and the, the owner of OK Tire says okay let me get this straight so you have no issues but you want us to double check all the connections I says correct <laughs> I said I'll pay you okay he says bring the car tomorrow at four o'clock so that's what I'm doing. I'm doing alignment at nine, and then at four, I'm parking the truck at four o'clock. I'm bring, taking the car, and uh, it'll it'll make me feel safer. You know, I paid them a thousand bucks. You know, I think I'm I'm a valued customer. If this was my shop, I would probably do it for free for somebody. If somebody says, "Hey, can you guys check in on my all the nuts and bolts on the on the thing you just installed?" But of course, he's very busy. So I'll pay him for like, I don't know, half an hour, hour labor. And then, okay, so now we're up to date. So now up to today, today is Thursday, right? So what's happening Saturday, I decided to upgrade my tires. You know, now that the car is so fast and I, I feel I have so much power and torque, I wanna upgrade, you know, I have 20 inch tires stock, right? These are Goodyear, Goodyear, uh, 245 slash 45 R20. They're good tires, they're all season, but I want them wider. I want 275, 40, 20. And I thought I asked OK Tire about this, but for some reason, he couldn't get those uh, Continental tires I found online at Discount Tire in the States. Even though this guy, he's a dealer for Continental Tire, he says that model is not available. And I want Y speed rating, which is high speed rating. And these were like all season tires, but... So I called Cal Tire here. Cal Tires, and I said, I found these tires can you guys install them and the website says okay click here to purchase and then click here to add an appointment and it shows me available you know time and it's a Saturday 12 o'clock perfect because I'm leaving Sunday morning for the for the next load and I did that and they I, I entered my credit card but they said they don't I'll have to pay at the store and the next thing I know my phone is ringing and this guy says hey this is so-and-so from Kel Tire 
you just purchased the tires and you booked an appointment but I, I, I want to tell you that we're not open on Saturdays I said why did your website told me that Saturday is available he said oh it's a glitch and I said okay so when can you install it he says uh, Monday or Tuesday I said okay I'll bring the car over you know after I come back I said I'm, I'm leaving on a trip and I have three loads booked um, I gotta do a load uh, uh, from PA to Ontario some kind of a dozer not very heavy then I'm going back to PA but a different town and I'm picking up a 80,000 excavator and bring it back to Canada and then again like there's no loads out of Canada it's, it's all loads out of US to Canada but it's not far it's like you know 400 450 miles no big deal and then the last load I booked is going to be pretty interesting. It's uh, 115,000 pounds. 115,000 pounds and it's uh, 18 feet long, but 15 feet wide and about 11 feet tall. So 115,000 pounds. And I'm thinking, you know, whether I should go as a 2 plus 2 or 3 plus 1 or maybe break out my new shiny flip axle and go as a three plus two but that probably will be an overkill so chances are i'll go as a three plus one tritum trailer single axle booster tandem jeep and and the truck so so things are very busy very busy lots of loads people bombard me with offers and now i have to just basically turn them down because you know i promise people uh, so these three loads I gotta do um, so that's what's happening so Sunday morning no uh, yeah Sunday morning Sunday morning I'm leaving and I'm driving into PA and then I'm loading that dozer Monday probably I'll be back like Tuesday and I'll do my car change the tires and I'm gonna sell these tires because Oh, by the way, the, the new ones I'm buying, yeah, they're fancy tires, but they're summer tires. I couldn't find any all season tires. And so those are summer tires. So uh, I'm gonna sell these good years and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna use these summer tires, the new ones, 275 size. And then when the winter comes around, I'm gonna get some real winter tires this time, you know? But I'll try to get 275s as well, maybe with some steel rims, you know, so I can just change the wheels together with tires and these guys can do uh, storage I think even my Chrysler dealer they do that I think they uh, they store them they charge you something but then they reinstall them for free there's some kind of a nice deal about that so I'm gonna ask him about that so that's what's happening now you're up to date and of course I'm sorry I look so awful is because I left my uh, my uh, shaver in in the car here uh, and so when i was tracking i didn't have it with me so now i'm gonna go back to my hotel i'm gonna shave and i'm gonna look presentable don't scare the good shipper monday when i'm when i'm loading the dozer so uh, the spring is here the weather is beautiful so i hope you guys and gals enjoy your coming weekend stay safe and stay tuned ciao